This episode of Tonight in San Diego is brought to you by The Belly Up Tavern. Broadcasting from Ocean West Studios in America's finest city, this is Tonight in San Diego. This week's guests from FM 94.9, Steve Woods. And this week's musical guest, Luno. And here's your host, David Ball. What's up, San Diego? How are you all doing tonight? Yeah, yeah. Very excited to be back this week. Um, just recovered from 4th of July. Yeah, very big, very big for both of us, right? t I just, I don't know. Yeah. It was a crazy weekend. It's like when 4th of July goes from Friday all the way to Tuesday. It's very really tiring, you know, very tiring, very tiring. <laughs> but our uh, city has been totally um, on fire this week for, for that reason, too. I mean, we've got tons and tons of tourists in our town, which, which I actually personally like, because then I go, oh, that's why I spend so much on rent, because people like to visit here. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I read there was about oh, one million people in San One million people. Over the that's, what I was, that's what I was hearing, too. Yeah, one million. I, can you it's believe kinda that? Kind of a lot of people. Kind of a lot. That's how California is going to break off into the ocean. <laughs> I'm convinced. Great. It's going to be just All the everyone. visitation, too much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's just going to knock us right in. But I'm sure that everybody else was uh, visiting other places, too, for 4th of July for some reason. I don't know. We have a beach here. I don't know why you go anywhere else. Um, but uh, first, uh, uh, we've got some cool stuff, too, uh, today. We've got some amazing guests. I'm really excited. And a new, new segment we've never done before. So very excited for all of these things to come. But before we get started with those, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the local headlines. Uh, the Giant Dipper roller coaster in Belmont Park celebrated its 89th birthday this month. Yeah, 89 years old. That means that people have been paying to break their backs since 1925. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. I still write it. I'm from San Diego. Uh, due to a new California law, uh, San Diego State University students are soon going to have to sign a waiver consenting to have sex while in school. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to have sex this semester? Yes, please. Yes, yes I would, yes I would. Like, what? Uh, a student in Germany had to be rescued uh, by 22 policemen after s getting stuck inside of a giant vagina statue. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I have no joke for that. I just wanted to show you a picture of it because I knew you wouldn't believe me otherwise. <laughs> Let's just crawl in. I want to reenact my birth. That's what, like, what? Uh, Sarah Palin is rumored to be on The View the next season. Yeah, network uh, strat uh, strategists are saying that they're hoping that her followers, the people who respect her opinion, are going to have the network's uh, views rise by the tens. <laughs> the new Planet of the Apes film, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, has been getting outstanding reviews, actually. Yeah, I mean, I know people are kind of mixed about seeing it, but it's been actually getting really, really, really good, good reviews. Critics are saying that this is the most believable performance from a monkey since Steven Tyler was seen coming out of the ocean. <laughs> And finally, uh, speaking of animals, the San Diego Zoo Safari Park is now offering visitors a chance to have breakfast with the tigers. Yeah. Uh, park executives are saying that this is going to be really good for the park. Uh, but the tigers are saying, good? Good? They're great! <laughs> and that concludes this week's local headlines. All right, welcome back, everybody. Like I said, we have an amazing show, and I really did promise that. I, I honestly, honestly did. Um, from FM 94.9, we have Steve Woods here. Yeah. And later, uh, we'll hear a set from Luno. Very excited, yeah, for sure. Um, but first, we have a, a really cool new segment um, that we've never done before, and um, with a brand new sports correspondent I'm really excited for, um, with Dallas. So we're going to roll that clip right now. San Diego Sports. Hey everybody, it's Dallas tonight in San Diego. We are down here outside Bubs in downtown San Diego to talk to some Padres fans about the Padres season. And uh, the Giants are in town, so we're going to talk to some Giants fans too. I mean, maybe. Who knows? I, I think most of them are illiterate and also can't speak. Hey, I'm here with... Dan. Dan, how you doing? Not too bad. Dan, were you at the game today? Yeah. 
That about sums up the season, doesn't it, Dan? Well, what's your name? Tiffany, hi. Uh, are you aware that there's a baby behind you? Uh, is there? There's a whole child behind her. And did you stay for the whole game today? Yes, we did. Really, the whole game? You're that much of a fan? Yes, yes, we're diehard San Diegans, total Padre fans, win or lose. Uh, what do you feel about all five Padres that were up making the All-Star break? All-Star game. Oh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> no, that's all right. Yep, diehard Padre fan. We don't even pay attention. I'm a new mom. I can't be paying that much attention. That's the greatest excuse ever. I'm a new mom, so who cares about the Padres? You're a madre. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's a terrible joke. How's it going, bud? We watched the Padre game today? Ah, oh, that's too bad. There was a Jason Raz concert in town. He totally missed the Padre game. Couldn't do it. Yeah, what's your name? Daniel? Daniel. Daniel, were you at the game today? Yeah. Who's your favorite Padre, Daniel? Um, Will Venable. Will Venable? Really? Do you have his baseball card? I think so. Cause you think so? <laughs> you should just draw one for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I have a, uh, I because I have this book of National League cards and American League. Wow, you think they're worth money? Mm, some of them. Yeah, the Padres ones aren't worth that much money, probably, huh? Uh, not that much. Yeah, especially Will Venable. How's it going, sir? <laughs> Big Padre fan. Huge Padre fan. Hey, what's your name? George. George, are you from San Diego? Originally, yes. Where you live now, George? L.A. L.A., and somehow you wound up a Giants fan. I'm originally, originally from the Bay Area. Well, we've also found out that you're originally a liar, George. How are you doing? Good, yeah, how are you? Good. What's your name? Xavier Cordova. Xavier, is this your wife? It is. She knows her, she knows her place right behind you, right? <laughs> what do you think about all six Padres who are up for the All-Star game getting into the All-Star game? It's awesome. Yeah? It's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, awesome. I have no idea who... I come for the beer, so... You come for the beer? I come for the beer, so... That wraps up Padres fans right there. I came for the beer. Hey, were you guys at the Padre game today? There's a baseball team in San Diego. Did you... Oh, hey, how are you? Doing pretty well, thanks, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. What's your name, sir? David. David. Now, are you from San Diego or are you from San Francisco? I'm from San Francisco, actually. And you came all the way down just for the series? Absolutely. All three games, yeah. All three games. Amazing part. I feel like you're belittling us a little. Absolutely not, man. This is one of my best baseball experiences ever. You know, quite frankly, the staff in there is amazing. Everyone is so helpful. The amazing brews in there, the good food. We got a little Hodad's burgers. You're making it real hard for me to hate Giants fans right now. You know, I got to tell you, the Padres are my third favorite team. <laughs> What's your second? Oh, whoever's playing the Dodgers, of course. That's a good call. Good call, sir. You're a very nice gentleman. I would probably rethink the t-shirt, but that's your call. Hey. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just seriously. Just What is this? This turned into a whole different video with that bandana around her mouth. Uh, are you from San Francisco? I am not. Where are you from? Orange County. Orange County? How did you wind up a Giants fan? Because I... Oh, the orange. Orange. Orange County, orange. I just don't like the angels. I don't know what it's... Oh, are you a big Satanist? No. No, okay, sorry. Am I confusing? I'm not an L.A. fan. Love yeah, L.A. sucks. Boo, L.A. <laughs> you guys at the game today? No? Okay. No, who is, right? Yeah, nobody, apparently. <laughs> Stupid son of a bitch. And I'm Dallas. Nice to meet you, sir. Uh, did you vote for any Padres for the All-Star game? Uh, no, I didn't, I didn't hit the voting thing. So it's because of you? <laughs> Probably because of me. I'll be honest, except for Easton Street, no one deserves to be there, right? Oh, it is a tough year. It's going to be a... Uh, Give it a couple years. No, for sure. Two, two trades, some bats in the minor leagues, and get some young guys. 2020, we'll be ready to go. <laughs> well, I am watching tonight in San Diego. This is fantastic. Man, we should hang out. I'll just take my hat off. You take your shirt off. We'll have a whole other kind of adventure, right? Yeah. <laughs> San Francisco, I'm just saying. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, really happy to do it. That so, was the worst handshake ever. Let's do that. Yeah, again. it's this there table. You go. There, there you go. Well, I, I also have chubby arms. I can't get around that well. <laughs> That's okay, though. How sober were you when you did that video? Oh, super sober. <laughs> Real sober. Yeah, very sober. The glasses were hiding nothing. No, they weren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are actually clear lenses. That's the problem. That's how oh, drunk I, I was. See. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how was, uh, so how, was there any weirdness doing that? I mean, I understand. Did you see everybody walking behind yes. me? Yeah, that was the weirdness. That, that was happened. the weirdness. <laughs> Downtown is such a weird part of town because I think it, they're still, like San Diego's still fighting. Do we make it like a cool hit place or just still homeless urine? Like we don't <laughs> exactly. know. Exactly. 
Like at nighttime, it just becomes a place for ex-college students to hang out, you know? And then during the daytime, it's a place for them to, you know, do cocaine. I don't know. Is this a family show? Should I not say that? <laughs> I'm sorry. You just did that video, so whatever. Oh, okay. good, good. <laughs> so whatever kind of show it is, it's that. Have now. you been down to a game at all yet this year? At Pet not Pet? this year, no. No, neither have I. I, sh I need to go because I keep getting invited, but I just don't go. Yeah, even yeah. if it's free, you're like, it's I free. got another like, thing to do. I was getting drunk somewhere else, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got to catch up on Law and Order. I can't. Make <laughs> it's true, Blair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Um, so final season, right? I'm not even there yet, but let's not talk about okay, that. Okay, no spoilers. So, uh, no spoilers. <laughs> so, um, so you got some comedy stuff coming up though that I want our audience to know about, so they sure. can see you do your thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this Wednesday coming up, July 16th, uh, I host a comedy talk show. So uh, it's a lot of stand-ups and stuff like that, and we do a lot of on-location things like what you just saw. Uh, and it's down at the American Comedy Co. in downtown. Awesome. So in my favorite place. Uh, it starts at 8 p.m. and uh, it's free to get in if you just go on Facebook and you type in uh, the show's called Live from the Gas Lamp. You cool. just type that into Facebook and you put your name up and you get it on the guest list for free. And we we'll have beer specials from uh, Modern Times Brewery. It's a local brewery that's really good. And, yeah. And uh, so yeah, it's a fun time. It's just hanging out, fun time. It's a live talk show. We we don't film it at all. It's we don't want any evidence that it existed. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then you're out of there. So yeah, come on down if you if you're free to, next Wednesday. It's free. Perfect. So you guys will be there, right? Yeah. 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 Awesome. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for and, and come back and, and and torture the people of San Diego. Anytime. Once again, all right. Anytime, man. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. All right. When we get back, um, we are going to have Steve Woods here. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage from FM 94.9, Steve Wood! Hey, Joe, Thanks so, for uh, uh, making me follow Dallas McLaughlin. Yeah. It's a funny dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I apologize. We've, uh, we've done some, Dallas and I have done some work together. I don't know if you knew that. We did oh, a on couple, your face? We did a couple of fake, uh, <laughs> fake talk shows. We tried to pitch and it didn't work out. And, um, but he's funny. I'm not. So. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a good dude. I listen to your show. You guys are funny. Yeah, he's, sure. he's a funny guy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how, so are you excited for summer? No, not really. No. At all. It's, really? uh, I don't, my life doing mornings and radio is, it's pretty tame now because it has to be because I get up at 4 a.m. every day. So not complaining, but definitely it's early, uh, it's early and you, you know, your whole life changes. I'm new to radio. I'm only four and a half years in. And at 39 in a couple of weeks, it's, you know, it's still a new thing. So it's just, you never get used to it though. But at the same time, I mean, you guys do a ton of stuff. You're always out and about. Right. Yeah. I mean, and, and I mean, I couldn't imagine getting up at 4 a.m. It's like, the worst. I feel it like really that's is. when I go to bed a lot of the time. Right. It's, so. it's miserable. It's miserable. <laughs> 4 a.m. tomorrow. I mean, usually I'm dead asleep by this time right now. <laughs> Seriously. No one so can, you guys are really lucky. No one can say that you're a vampire. That is true. That is true. Too much true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, what do you guys have coming up next for 94.9? Uh, probably um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Sublime, <laughs> uh, Young the Giant, Avicii. No, we. Uh, we uh, Avicii, I, really? I kid, I kid. Yeah, totally. Avicii's the best. <laughs> the best. Um, amazing. We have our Independence Jam, which is coming yeah. up September 7th. It's at the Oceanside Pier Amphitheater. It's going to be an awesome show you can get tickets at independencejam.com fm949sd.com and ms mr fanagram uh local band little hurricanes playing they're awesome nice. jay roddy's playing it's going to be a really fun time and at that you know you could put dallas mclaughlin on stage at the ocean Pier amphitheater and people would come because it's just that beautiful <laughs> of a venue and it's uh it's perfect yeah it's awesome so that's coming up so come hang out with us get tickets and it's gonna be a lot of fun Perfect. Yeah. Well, I, will, I, I definitely want to go now. You should. For sure. I mean, I'll give you tickets. Cool. Awesome. We're friends now. Yeah. Been yeah, on the exactly. show. And cool. I feel like I can I know the, stretch I know out, the guy. Do whatever I want. You know. <laughs> it's your couch. Now. Right. You may mark it with your territory. It's hot here. Yes. It is. I don't know what this is about. It's, I mean, yeah, it's, this it's happens. these like, bright I, lights and all of that. You know, all of this. We used to have AC, but I don't know what happened. That's cool. Um, so I also heard, um, speaking of cooling down, uh, that you were on the show Wipeout. <laughs> Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, 
we made it to the finals, and uh, it was me and a buddy of mine, Jay, and we made it to the finals, and I completely was mortified on national TV. I broke my ankle. Oh, my God. I got a concussion. I lost us $50,000, which he still to this day brings up. It's the most – I have nightmares about it, and that's not a joke. That's not me being funny. I literally have had nightmares about Wipeout. Did you get anything for being on Wipeout? Yeah, I got a broken ankle and uh, a concussion. A broken... <laughs> oh, and national uh, mortification and humiliation, too. So. And nothing else. No, they, nothing they don't else. pay you to be on the episode. They gave us, like <laughs> – they gave us, I think, 20 bucks each for gas, and he took mine. He was so mad at me. <laughs> he's like, you cost me 50000 I'm taking that 20 and took it. He's country. He's a little wow. country hick. So <laughs> he took that 20 and um, I came home, and they, <laughs> in the final, the final deal, of course, they don't show it on TV. So I just, like, look like a big pussy. Can I say pussy? No. I, I just looked like we'll a big we'll wuss. Uh, and the divers had to pull me out because I was concussed. And as soon as they pulled me out, I threw up everywhere. And they're like, whoa, we've never seen anything like that before. It was bad, bad. And, of course, he's standing over me going, get up, man. God, you know, and he's all mad. And so, no, it's, it's mortifying. It's uh, something I'll never forget. <laughs> But on a good note, you did, I mean, okay, you did have some good experience. Oh, yeah. The big, the big things that you've done, too. I mean, I, I love the Queens of the Stone Age, but, and I heard that you actually ran into them. I did. It was, um, I've never really gotten to, like, big time somebody, and I wanted to do, like, a, you see it in the movies growing up, you know, and I walk in a restaurant, I'm going to see the Queens play in, um, in L.A., and I walk in a restaurant, I look to my left, and there they are, the whole band, girlfriends, everything, and they're sitting there with their, their families, their wives, and they're eating dinner. And so I go sit down because I'm not going to be the guy that walks up and interrupts their dinner. I'm just not going to. And so I call the waiter over and I go, I'd like to send two bottles of champagne to that table over there. I didn't have money for champagne. I didn't <laughs> work in radio. So I sent him over two bottles and uh, Josh came over and then there was this guy standing behind Josh and Josh moved and I looked up and it was Jack White. And I didn't see him at the table. And Jack White was standing there and he reached his hand out and said, Thank you so much, man. That was really nice. That's awesome. And shook my hand, and I just was like, <laughs> I was staring at him, like, oh my God, you have the softest hands I've ever felt. <laughs> they seriously were so, they were, they're so soft. It's amazing. He looks like he never sees the sun. Dude, and you know, and walking around the venue that night, he was one of us. He was jumping up and down and jumping and drinking and partying and having a good time. He wasn't like sitting off in a corner, right. you know, with a velvet rope. He was out there and, just being one of us and being into the music. And I just looked at him and was like, visionary. You know, he's, yeah, he's incredible. Totally. So, yeah, I, I, that's a cool story. It was, it was a nice thing. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, that sounds really awesome. I'm jealous. It was, sure. it was great. Sure. It was great. <laughs> so you guys have um, Independence Jam coming up, and then you've got some of your, uh, your own games coming up that you're going to be playing on your team. Oh, yeah. We want to talk about my, my semi-professional <laughs> baseball team? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. We, uh, we're called the Black Storm. We play in the Premier Baseball League, and uh, we're very, very good. Uh, we're 12-1-1. One, one. Playoffs are coming up, and um, I'll get you guys all the details on that when I have them. Um, it's been – it's so fun, though. I mean, That's at 38 awesome. to go out and still play hardball. It's not softball. They, sure. they don't throw underhand. There's guys that have played in the pros, and I, I play with a guy um, that was coached by Tony Gwynn. Wow. And we went and hit yesterday. And I just, when I got done, I, I got done hitting and I go, I just learned how to hit from Tony Gwynn because yeah. Tony taught him. It's true. I mean, Don't Tony, know for sure. Tony taught this guy and he's like, Tony used to tell me when you're hitting the outside and I'm just looking at him going, oh my God, Tony, Tony is Tony Gwynn. And so it's just, it's surreal. I mean, and you know, some guy on Facebook the, the other day called it a beer league and I was like, <laughs> Come on out anytime. <laughs> Love to have you. That's awesome. So it's fun, man. It keeps the, uh, the juices flowing, so to speak. For sure. That's weird to well, say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> keeps the fire burning. Doesn't like a couple of men out in the field. That's right. The juices right. flowing. Running around, <laughs> slapping asses and having fun. I noticed you have a, a lot of radio people on your show. We do. Uh, you know yeah, why that we've is? we've had this time. Why is that? Because we are obsessed with television. And oh, yeah. we are extremely uh, insecure, and <laughs> we need to be 
we want people to know that, yeah, we can be on TV too. And well, we're we, normal. Well, we love having you guys on, and you've been awesome because Thank you're you. super hilarious, and I love listening to your I show. I appreciate for it. For sure. Um, so, and, and everybody at that stage. I mean, honestly, everybody at 94.9 is amazing. We have, Tim Piles is amazing. Tim is great. I've been, I've been in that studio, and I, everybody yeah, is Tim's amazing. Tim's great. Seriously, seriously. We, we, have, we have a brilliant, brilliant staff, and, sure. and I'm definitely the kind of the, still the low man on the totem pole, kind of, because I started after them, but Hillary is just yeah. amazing and um, it's been a lot of fun. We've had, I've been in radio for four and a half years and the last two definitely better than the first two. And it's been, uh, I mean, honestly, it's just been a lot more peaceful and it's, it's crazy. Our station at one point was really, it was about to go away. Yeah. I don't know that people really know how close we were to going away wow. and to be where we are now remarkable i mean we're just we're so lucky so we'll stick around because we, we don't want to lose you guys well yeah sure. i don't want to go right. anywhere man well you guys give it up one more time yeah. thank, thank, you. You. thank you so much for thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. uh when we get back we are going to sit down with luno yeah. stick around <laughs> Everybody in the audience right now, we have tickets to OK Go. It's a legit, that's the real deal. Of course, it's going to be at the Belly Up, um, one of my favorite venues in San Diego, if not my favorite. I think it might be my favorite, actually. Um, this is for the show on July 24th. So coming up, there's still tickets. It's 21 and up, and it is, uh, doors are 8 p.m. And you can get tickets at bellyup.com, of course. All right? So uh, who wants OK Go tickets? Yeah. All right, we're gonna give them away in just a second. Um, you guys, please give a huge round of applause for our band of the evening, Luno! Hey, welcome, welcome. All right, she don't wanna so, uh, be a little bit. earlier. So, how are, how are you? Good. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, how's your summer going? As good as it can be. As good as it can be. Do anything fun. Ah, uh, man. Working. 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 And probably stuff with the band, too, I'm assuming. Yes. Yes? You guys have the gigs coming up and everything? We would, but my band is in different parts of the world. Oh, I heard. Yes. Yeah, you had, you, you got, you had two people just up and leave and, and <laughs> break up over the, the surface of the earth. What happened? Um, well, we had one, our bass player, Ryan, who I started the band with, um, decided to do graphic design. And there was a chance for him to go to a very prestigious school over in Australia. Australia. So he's over there doing graphic design for six months. That sucks for him because it's winter there. Yeah? Yeah. It's Cold. still got pretty good surf, though. <laughs> so he's, he's doing okay. Awesome. And then my drummer, Kush, who I've known for forever, uh, he's in Boston right now. He's actually helping his brother out who's in med school watch his little son. So oh, wow. His nephew. Wow, so that's a lot of stuff going so on. He's for missing you guys, out for on sure. an amazing <laughs> opportunity, but you know they're doing things with their life. So that's really good. I know how that goes for sure. <laughs> um, but uh, how long have you guys been a band? Um, so we started off as Static Bloom, and that was an alternative kind of rock band. Yeah, and we were together for about four or five years, and then <laughs> Kush went to India for <laughs> to do veterinarian school. So then I started this school with Ryan doing, or started this band with Ryan doing Luno. And Luno okay. became Luno about a year ago. And we just started doing this and everything was going great. And then life's just full of surprises. That's true. It <laughs> is. But everything works out, right? Yeah. Um, so uh, so what have you guys recently done? I mean, you guys have played some shows recently when they were here. Yes. Um, what are some exciting ones you guys um, have? We worked with a lady named Vanessa. Mm -hmm. And she runs these fundraisers that works with kids with cancer. Yeah. And she is an awesome lady and brought us on to do all these different shows. Um, we did, there were a bunch of fashion shows and basically it's the community of San Diego working together to raise money for this awesome charity. And uh, we got to play at downtown at a few sidebar, uh, I don't know, a bunch of, a bunch of different bars. I can't remember the names, but yeah. they're downtown San Diego. And um, I don't know, just worked with a lot of cool people. And That's did, awesome. Not, not so much the venues, like we didn't do Belly Up or House of Blues or any of those things. It was more 
just fundraisers and things around San Diego. Just I mean, those are obviously really good though too, because you're not just doing a show for yourself, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like so, those are always the biggest. Those no, are always big no things. ticket sales, which is nice. <laughs> kind of over that scene. Yeah, what is that in San Diego? Ticket sales? Yeah, I mean, it's just like it's atrocious. So they make bands pay well, to play. Yeah, if you're if you're a nobody or you know no one that's being played on the radio or has a, this big record deal, you know, sure. I like to call it a nobody, even though you're not a nobody. There's lots of bands out there that are amazing, but. You know, they are not known, so anytime you play at a venue, you have to sell at least 20, 10, 15, whatever tickets. Right. And after a while, your friends and family don't want to come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, you do what you And then can. you have to pay for the ones you don't sell. It's like exactly. You have to sit there. Thing. We went to L.A. and we played a show at the Whiskey Go-Go. Yeah. And I'm, you know, just Mr. Hustler over here. So <laughs> they're like, you have to sell 20 tickets. I'm like... Yeah, 20 tickets, no problem. I got that. That's easy. We'll we'll do that, no problem. And we get up there, and I've sold like three tickets. And it's the day I've got like three hours before the show, and I'm like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? And I, I get there, and you know, no one has cash. We're all broke. Like, yeah. you know, none of us is gonna like be able to front the money. So we get up there. I was like, okay, everyone, just go up, put your put your stuff up on stage, and get ready to do this. We're just gonna play. And we get up there, and we're about to start our first song. And the guy comes up. He's like, stop, stop, stop. He's like, where's the money? And they were gonna shut us down, and then you know who um, Nick Swartzen is, the comedian. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Nick, Nick Swartzen was next door at the bar, and he was buying whiskey shots for everybody. So no he came way. over, and yeah, uh, he bought everybody tickets to come watch the show, and came in, and we got to play the whiskey go go. That's was awesome. awesome. So that it worked is so out. So <laughs> legit. I I always want him. He had his own show at one point on Comedy Central, and I'm like, he needs his own like awesome show. Yeah. So not only is he hel freaking hilarious, but he's also a really great guy. He's, he's, he's an saved your guy. show. He's a great guy. <laughs> and Grandma's Boy is like one of the best. Yeah, right. In the world. For sure. I know. <laughs> I kind of want to lie in because of that movie. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I want my Why own not? race car bed. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we're really excited to uh, hear you guys play tonight. Um, and do you guys are you guys recording some new material pretty soon or what? Do you, what's yeah, we out? just finished uh, recording. We did it all of ourselves actually with Rhyme, um, the song that was playing before we walked in. Yeah, um, it's called Everything, and Perfect. off the album It, and uh, it's still a work in progress because Ryan's in Australia, so we're sending tracks back and forth. Yeah, and finishing it up, but. Uh, we're not going to be able to play everything tonight because the drummer and the bass player are gone and there's just too much complication. So luckily, we're so thankful that the bass player, Nathan, was able to step in today and awesome. just met him today. And he was able to pick up the bass guitar after 30 minutes and just kind of learn the root notes. And That's cool. Hopefully put on a show for you guys and play some good music. Well, let's do it. It's going to sound great, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, well, when we get back, we are going to hear some tunes from Leno. stage, Luno.
paper play as he make an object you will save take away these eyes today now you learn that I cannot behave don't you want to hold a hand don't you want to let me rep the man don't you want to take in days don't you want to hold me back and say in and out in and out and your love is folding back in me in and out in and out and your heart's in origami shaping me in and out in and out and your love is falling back in me in and out in and out and your heart's in origami shaping me tuning in really appreciate it uh give it up uh for steve woods from fm 94.9 for joining us tonight yeah thank you so much uh you can check us out at tonight in san diego.com of course also facebook.com slash tonight in san diego and twitter.com slash tonight in sd and you can also hashtag anytime you want to talk about us hashtag tonight in san diego we love that so much um again next week we'll be back every thursday throughout the summer and a little bit of the fall if you guys want tickets to the show, go to tonightinsandiego.com where you can purchase them outright. Uh, give it up one more time for Luno. <laughs> Sea. 
Stretch your eyes like you just believe See my love as she's pressed and I feel this love Walk my mind through an open field Through this cloud where I learn to steal All your eyes are open and I feel this love Give it to me, yeah, you give it to me, yeah, you give it to me, yeah, you give it to me, yeah. You give me your love so I can just feel this love. All right, she said now, every day that I really want to be your love, I know I think you so. Now I know that I really want to.